of all, congratulations on the Paralympic Nordic skiing team. Thank you. But I do know that you didn't actually know about the Paralympics until a little bit later in life. So could you fill everyone in on how you found out about it? Yes. So I was working a corporate nine to five career post collegiately, and I wasn't really feeling fulfilled in my job. And so I had heard about the Paralympics very briefly and a family friend had talked to me a little bit about it. And I started doing some research and then dived into it about three years ago now. And now going to my second Paralympics. <laughs> Yeah, so you competed in track and field in the Summer Paralympics, mm -hmm. and I know you ran at Butler University, but how did you find Nordic skiing? I didn't find it. They found me. Um, I was training for Paralympic track, and a U.S. developmental team coach for the Nordic team reached out to me because the sport is pretty uh, small, especially niche when it comes to para and then Nordic skiing. And so she reached out to me and offered for me to try out a camp. And I tried out a camp in December of 2019. And from there on out, I guess I became a two sport athlete. Yeah. So you're living in Bozeman, right? Mm -hmm. So where do you train? Was it in Canada? Oh, so we train full time in Bozeman. I think okay. last time I might have chatted with you, we were heading to Canada. And so we um, do a bunch of international trips during the year. And luckily, even with COVID this year, we were able to go up to Canmore for a training camp and do some racing. I just got back from Norway. So I was over there doing some racing. And now in just about three weeks, we'll head over to China. But our team for the winter is based out of Bozeman. Gotcha. All right. So the main reason I wanted to talk to you today is because I know you're really passionate about being a Paralympian and that you want people to understand the difference between the Paralympics and the Olympics. So uh -huh. could you go into more detail about that? Definitely. I think that I definitely, before I knew much about the Paralympics three years ago, probably made some um, quick judgments and didn't really understand what was going on either. But basically, the Paralympics is separate from the Olympics. It's different than the Special Olympics. And the Paralympics is a competition designed for people with a variety of physical disabilities. The Paralympics do take place at the same venues, and we stay in the same villages. And there's often the same sports, but they are still different than the Olympics. They happen two weeks after the Olympics conclude. So the Olympics are finishing mid-February and we'll start our competitions March 4th in Beijing. Luckily now in the US, the um, community and our government and our sponsors are doing a really great job of trying to promote the Paralympics. And now Paralympians receive equal medal money if you are to medal at the games and there's a lot more sponsorship opportunities for Paralympians, but we are still different than Olympians. No lesser, just different. <laughs> awesome. So you mentioned that you stayed in the same, um, what are they called, villages uh -huh. as the Olympians. So before you go, since it was the biggest story of the Olympics <laughs> and the Paralympics, can you tell me how the cardboard bets were? <laughs> the like cardboard, I have to know. The cardboard bets weren't that bad. I feel like people we're really talking down on them. I'd say the worst part is that they were twin beds. And now I'm, you know, at home, I sleep in a queen, but <laughs> hardboard beds were pretty comfortable. And you were able to actually change some things and like the way the boxes were stacked to change the level, I guess, of firmness, but they weren't terrible. I have seen photos of the Beijing beds. They're not cardboard. They look like they're a little bit bigger too. And the rooms look a little bit bigger. So that will be exciting. But the cardboard beds, I, I slept fine. Maybe I was just exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny. Well, thanks so much. I hope your bed is bigger and <laughs> good luck in the Paralympics. Thank you. Bye.